First of all, I was uh, very excited and thankful for this uh, offer to take the position of the Special Representative and Coordinator for Combating Trafficking in Human Beings here in the LOC Secretariat. Not only in Ukraine, but also during my previous uh, engagement with my uh, government in uh, Kazakhstan, I was very actively involved in anti-trafficking activities. And especially in uh, Ukraine, it was one of the priorities of the office. Uh, the office assisted uh, the Ukrainian uh, government to change the legislation, to uh, establish and introduce elements of uh, uh, protection of uh, victims of uh, trafficking, uh, prosecution of perpetrators, and it was considered to be one of the effective and successful assistance of the OC presence in Ukraine. Well, of course, I understand that uh, my focus has to be changed now from one uh, country uh, to uh, include all the uh, 57 uh, participating uh, states. And uh, the challenges are great in uh, this uh, area. The uh, forms of uh, trafficking are changing. The numbers of uh, trafficked uh, persons are growing and the persons at risk are also growing. So uh, we have uh, to uh, be more concentrated on the implementation. Uh, I mean, the participating states should be more concentrated on the implementation of the action plan, uh, which was adopted uh, 10 years ago. And our mandate is to assist the participating states to implement the commitments and uh, to meet the uh, challenges. Moreover, last year in Kiev, during the ministerial conference, the participating states adopted uh, the addendum to this uh, action uh, plan, which uh, concentrated all the uh, commitments and uh, recognized uh, the need uh, to uh, be uh, more uh, effective in addressing the uh, new forms of uh, trafficking as well as the old uh, ones. And uh, the, um, during all these uh, years, the office has been uh, work, working intensively with the participating uh, states, with law enforcement, with the legislators, uh, with civil uh, society, uh, trying uh, to uh, ra uh, raise awareness of the uh, scope of the uh, problem and threats in this area. On November 4th, 5th, the office convenes the Alliance Against Trafficking in Persons Conference, and this is the annual uh, conference uh, where uh, representatives from participating states, diplomats, professionals, civil society representatives, as well as our partners from international organizations, uh, discuss uh, issues in the area of anti-trafficking uh, and how we can cooperate to prevent uh, trafficking in persons. So this year's agenda uh, will be uh, focused on the ethical uh, side of anti-trafficking and uh, there will be several panels and side events on uh, during which the uh, participants uh, will uh, discuss uh, different issues such as, for example, the responsibility of states and private uh, sector to ensure that uh, business uh, do not uh, promote to uh, use of uh, exploitation while uh, during the business uh, process and uh, sourcing uh, supplies. Uh, tra uh, ethical issues of uh, trafficking for the purpose uh, of organ uh, removal uh, will be also discussed as well as uh, uh, prevention of uh, uh, trafficking uh, while uh, domestic, uh, through the domestic uh, servitude. So I'll be glad to uh, welcome all our keynote speakers and participants uh, at this Alliance Conference on the 4th and 5th November here in Halbrook.